So hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how I've made a uh, similar experience to VR. So I made, uh, made it with these four parts, an Xbox One controller, a gyro accelerometer and an FX Viper screen which is actually meant to be used for FPV flying with drones or planes. In the brain in this project is an Arduino Uno. So first, uh, this screen. I have a dryer attached to the screen, so when I turn the screen, the in-game character is turning, as you can see. So it has up and down motion and right to left. And this all is connected to the Arduino Uno through a shield and uh, it works by having two servers uh, controlling the Xbox One controllers potentiometers which uh, controls the X and Y axles of the camera in game. So what is good with this screen is that it comes with a mask so I'm able to have this fixed to my head which really gives it a VR experience. So when I turn my head the character in game is turning their head. So the screen is connected via mini HDMI so you can connect this to pretty much anything you want. Could be a computer or an uh, Xbox One. So you, you can actually get this experience with any type of game. It could be doesn't have to be Minecraft, it could be uh, Halo or GTA. Although the resolution is. Ah, it's okay. Here's the mask. So I can have it on my head. And here's the box. And feel free to pause the video if you want to read this. Here's the dry row. It's. Uh, six axles, three axis accelerometer and three axles gyroscope which is movement in three directions and it feels a changing angle in three directions. So here's the stick from an Xbox One controller which I desoldered and here you can see when I turn the stick how the potentiometers turn and this itself changes the resistance between the three leads which the Xbox One controller can feel. And here is the servos connected to the potentiometers. Here's the Arduino, Arduino Uno which I made a shield for, for easy connections. first connection is the servos, the second is for the gyro and lastly the third one is for power. So at first when, when it starts it go, goes through a calibration stage and uh, after a few seconds uh, you can see that when I turn the gyro the the servers move and this will be registered by the Xbox One controller and uh, turn the camera of the character in game. So here's the schematics. The gyro is connected to to 5 volts in ground. The uh, SEL pin is connected to the Arduino's SEL and SDA to SDA. I, I connect the, the power and ground from the servo uh, with the two servos so I can draw one connection to the Arduino instead of two for power and one to ground however they they both need a separate signal signal line And uh, lastly, I connect my source of uh, 
my battery source, my power source, to the Arduino. So here's the code. Uh, please, please be sure to check out Brooking uh, Brooking's video. Um, a lot of the code is actually f from him, so this wouldn't have been possible without him. But I've done some changes. I added the servo control, deleted some parts with the screen, and changed changed actual directions. Here's some some starting variables. So first, it goes through a calibration stage, and then it is doing some uh, some math to output uh, the data from the gyro into two two variables angle roll buffer and angle pitch buffer which is easy so accept ac accessible so here the upmost is the up and down and the downmost is the right and left so here you can see that I've added a dead zone from minus 10 to plus 10 which means that you don't have to have your head 100% still you allow for some motion uh, without the in-game camera move so thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, please make sure to check out Brocking's video and uh, yeah, thanks.